The EOD is poisoning people. Recently, doctors have reported numerous cases of fatal food poisoning among those who received fish from the organization known as the EOD. What is the reason for these deaths, and what would the EOD stand to gain from them? These questions remain unanswered, but perhaps the, the famously charitable organization is not that charitable after all. In any case, we highly advise our readers to stay away from EOD members and refuse any gifts from them, especially food. The cost of free fish might be your life. In Memoriam. Today we're all shaken by the tragic death of the promising researchers who went to study the depths of the sea, but were doomed to never return. The city mourns the loss of these brilliant minds who laid down their lives for the sake of science. The names of the expedition members will be engraved on a memorial established at Oakman University. Harry Dow is dead! In sad news for many at Oakmont University, beloved scientist Harriet Doe has passed away. The professor of archaeology was found washed up at Calmshore Marina by a passerby. The Oakmont Chronicle would like to express our sin sincere condolences to everyone who knew and loved Harriet Doe. Oakmont will, will mourn the loss of a mind, the loss of a mind with few peers. Hmm. We had like a multi-quest chain of us pursuing Harriet Doe, only for us to briefly encounter her and her to talk about a ritual that we half understand. Then you choose to either murder her or not murder her, but then she dies immediately anyway off camera. Which is just... frustrating? A lot of these decisions matter as little as possible, it seems. Like, Harriet Doe dies immediately when they give you the chance to kill her, even if you don't kill her. And like... We have this whole thing about like, oh, who sh who should we give who should we blame for this murder? It's like, psych, there was no murder in the first place. The entire chapter was a lie, just to kill time, as like a weird elaborate test. But also, not only did they they had multiple quests building up to dealing with uh, Harriet Doe, but then she dies off camera in, a, in vague enough terms that I wasn't even sure how she died. I like I thought that like he said he was too late, but he was burying somebody. So I I thought that the guy doing the series of experiments that like Harriet Doe was like the final person to die in his series of experiments, but I guess she died on the coastline. So she, he never I guess she was never an experiment in the first place. She just washed up dead. And despite having a multi-chapter set up on trying to find her, she just dies quietly off camera without any real establishment that she had even died in the first place. Or like how she died. Like we didn't see her body. It didn't come up really. I can wear the king's robes. It's just kind of anticlimactic. Got all that glitters and fling Phoenix. And I unlock the king's robes. Alright, let's mark a lot of things. I have made an executive decision, let's say. So I, I did I did mark all of these, and they're all over the place. There's two here, two here, two here, one up there, one over there. It's a, a bunch of running around to get stuff. And I was curious, so I kind of peeked at the content itself. And I looked up a- this is just a video guide that shows, like, somebody running around grabbing all the things. So you, you go to a bunch of locations and you pick up a jewelry box at each location. It's like, like a collect-a-thon. And so I skipped to the end just to see, like, oh, is there like a- is there a note? Or like a cutscene or something? Just some kind of story context to pay off this quest? I saw the guy pick up the final jewelry box and it's just like, all that glitter's complete. I'm like, what? He, get, he just gets the last location, picks up the last jewelry box, and it just end, it just ends the quest. And I'm like, I don't... I didn't watch the whole thing, because I'm not tr actively trying to spoil everything for myself. I just wanted to see if there was any... Like, I wanted to see some moment where he looks like he's talking to somebody, or reading a note, or even anything that looks like story. It looked like he genuinely just went to eight different spots, picked up a jewelry box, and then when he got the last one, the game instant... the quest just instantly ended. It seemed... That seems like a massive waste of time, so I don't think I'm gonna do that quest. <laughs> it seems like it's a comp- like, not even letters- at least Letters to Oakman had a, a, a note at each one about, you know, just the many- it's like world building, world, world building, the many parallel stories of bad things happening in this fucked up city. And then one really big journal that was like a ship's log of like, of what happened to that particular ship, and like, okay, there's at least some story there. 
All that glitters looks like it literally does not contain story content beyond maybe just these little updates where he's saying where to find a nasty little note here and there. Which are mostly just locations, because there's only like four lines of text each. So yeah, that seems like... I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, if you know, I guess. Although, we're getting, we are getting, might be getting close to the end of the game, so I don't know if the finale will already be recorded before this episode goes up, but, uh... That, I don't think I want to waste time with that one. Seems like a joke to me. So we're at Joseph Hill's place. Vanderburg told me I hold the fate of Oakman in my hands. With the help of the seal, the gates of the sunken prison Kataganark can be closed for several centuries or opened at last. But I must find a way in. The only man who can help me with, with that is the local archaeologist Joseph Hill. So I'm just going to move on with the story, because that side quest almost looks like embarrassing content that I would not want to do. Oh look, is that him dead immediately? Great. Boy, do I luck out. He tried to escape, but something broke his neck with a single strike. I'm sorry, are you a... Forensics professional? I'm trying to think of like the uh what's it, a mortician? How the hell does he instantly know that in that specific but uh, that's loud. Hi. That was loud and I didn't like it. There we go. Gotcha. Did I accidentally mark that as being always on my screen? There we go. That pinned evidence thing hasn't been... seemed particularly important for a while. So I haven't been using that feature so much. Ah, poor guy died here after several stomach wounds. Or one. Uh, wild beasts carried out quite the massacre in here. One ferocious blow, and he was gone. How do you know such specific details? Whoa. Oh, that's one of the creatures. I'm like, I can't make sense of what I'm looking at. Yeah, it seems to be the, that the big guy fell in there. Remember that one time I summoned a crazy witch, and I killed her in like, six shots or whatever? Or, not, not, at least not a mountain of shots. But the evidence of how hard to kill she was gonna be was that there was like a giant mountain. It was just this huge pile of, uh, of ammo. Enough to take out an entire army of krauts, or something like that, is what my character said. And those people must have apparently failed to kill her, when they tried. Did they miss? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be embarrassing. If they all missed. I, I think I was able to take her out with way less ammo. They should have got a skill tree with that nice thing where you get bonus damage. That works for me. All oh, right, that random chance of a double damage is probably why I sometimes think certain enemies take less shots to kill. Is because sometimes I will one shot them based on that. Ah! Ah! Go away! Stop it! Oh, shit. Ah! This is new. Okay. Aiming is hard. Okay, so you're supernatural. You're not just green. Ow. Okay. Oh, I quit as it's called. Why did shooting a green lady make me insane? Okay. Not sure what just happened, but shooting a lady that was green made me lose my sanity more than like most corpses I've seen. So, I'm not sure how Reed's grasp on the world works, but he continues to surprise me. Huh. Did she come out of one of these things? Is that a bear trap? Oh, it's a... That's one of those traps I don't use. Because the number one thing I don't want to use the, it against is an enemy that I, is immune to them. It really sealed the deal on me never using those. By the looks of these plants, this photo was taken somewhere in South America. 
Crumpled letter. This is the last warning, my son. If you proceed with your self-destructive research, I'll take action. I can't watch you kill yourself, corrupt your mind, and sacrifice your health to these old fairy tales about the dead. It's not worth it. Leave it, or, le or I'll leave you without inheritance. I won't have you spend this money on your own death. N. Hill. He's got a bear trap hanging out on his counter. Apparently, it, it seems- it looked like I might even be armed. These Mayan artifacts could be the prized jewel in many a museum collection. Did you put a light in its mouth? What, to make it look cool or something? Who's been plundering other people's culture? Is she gone? Did you get her? What the hell's going on? I'm sure I shot her dead, but then she ran. Oh, snub, we are in trouble now. It, my name is Joseph. Sorry for getting you into this, and thanks. Uh, Charles Reed. I was actually looking for you. For me? How can I help you? Wait, did I just say that she ran? Didn't she explode? Those are different things. What do you know about that thing? The girl that attacked us. She's... Usha, a Mayan priestess, rejected by death itself. I can only imagine what baleful sorcery still keeps her alive. Unusual, even by this mad city's standards. Why would a Mayan priestess come here? What's special about this house? It was me she was after. Usha holds a secret older than humanity itself, and she wants to stop me from uncovering it. Don't ask me about it further. I can't say any more. I need your help to get into Katiganar. This madness must be stopped. Oh, that's a noble goal, but Vanderberg... Johannes was the one who told me about you, and about all the things that have happened since the Flood. He did? Well, I underestimated you. We share the same goal, but there's a problem. What kind of problem? The Mayan girl, Usha. She was the keeper of the key to Katiganar. We'll need it. You mean the seal? I have it. Just show me the entrance. The seal. You've got it. Spectacular. But, alas, it, it doesn't solve our problem. You're testing my patience, Joseph. Usha was the last one to open the path below, and she still protects it. We cannot proceed until she's been dealt with. My bullets did nothing. Do you know of any other ways to fight her? There are ways to resist her sorcery. I was going to use them myself, but I'm not sure I have the skills to track this thing to her lair. But didn't she come to you? She caught me off guard, tried to kill me. I was unprepared. You arrived just in time to scare her off. I'm a private eye. Tracking Usha won't be a problem. But how do we handle her? Look. When you locate her lair, come let me know. Meanwhile, I'll prepare our defense against her magics. Then together, we'll banish her. Any leads on how to track her? I don't know. But she drinks blood to gain strength. There must be victims, corpses, but... Thanks to the wild beasts and madness, Oakmont is full of the dead. Uh, though... I did hear rumor of a vampire in Salvation Harbor. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Johannes told me nothing about you. 
Can you fill me in before we continue? I understand. You're curious. Your face tattoos are rather... unusual. What do they mean? The Indians gave them to me. I visited a lost pyramid in the jungle. These are marks of wisdom. Your illness. How did you get it? Is it contagious? As with many other tropical maladies, it was born by a certain species of fly. They bred in the wells of the old Mayan temple. Superstitious savages may call it a curse of the gods, but we're people of culture, aren't we? I've seen enough to not take superstition so lightly these days. If Johannes trusts you enough to recommend your help, you must have some unique expertise. Well, I am an archaeologist, well versed in alchemy and other less academic sciences. I have devoted my life to stopping the end of the world. Wait, what? I spent years in the jungle learning from Mayan descendants. The illness forced my return, but I believe Shibalba's entrance is under Oakmont. Did you say Shibalba? The world of the dead. It brings disasters, epidemics, madness. The most violent Mayan gods were locked inside and need sacrifices to remain. Different locals gave it different names. Some of them can be traced, their origins identified. But Katigana, it precedes us all. You want to get into this place? Under Oakmont. No, no! That place must be closed forever! All that befalls Oakmont has emerged from within its walls. Well, I agree with that. That's plenty. Thanks, Joseph. All evidence collected. You threw me for a loop for a second there when you said the that the Indians gave it to him. I'm like... Do you, did you also go to North America? Or did you actually mean Indians, as in from India? Because that's a detour from the previous thing. But then he kept said that it was the jungles, and I'm like, wait, so you do mean South America? And before and after that, every time he said anything, he called them the he called them the Mayans. So he knew to call them the Mayans and not the Indians, but for one line of dialogue he calls them the Indians. Which I've never heard anyone do that before. That's new for me. I've heard people talk about people in North America as the Indians, which is incorrect, but its own bag. But I've never heard anyone call South Americans Indians, because that's a completely different culture that has to be separated mentally. So you, and people usually know to call them Mayans or Incans or something, or even just South American indigenous or something. But Indian, that threw me. I'm like, what are you talking about, Indians? Hill will help me if I find Usha. Hill will help me find the interesting Katagana if I track down the undead Mayan priestess guarding its secrets. This really took a turn, by the way. <laughs> In a different kind of way. Hill told me Usha drinks human blood to gain strength. Some kind of undead Mayan tried to kill Joseph Hill, but was stopped by something. She attacked me and then fled. Yeah. These are all potentially connected, so I'm like, let's just mash them on each other and see if any of them are the actual epiphany. There have been reports from Salvation about a vampire, so I guess you should start there. Hmm. Probably the best news that I have. <sighs> about Salvation Harbor is probably the fact that the, uh... There's only one real landmark in the entire region. Which is the, uh... It was the, the Old Oaks Inn or whatever it's called. The one that has the... The boat on top of it. So if I'm gonna find information out in that area, it's probably gonna be by visiting that location and asking around. Probably the barkeep. Because there's, there's no other white and black plaque on the map there that denotes any kind of miles uh, landmark 
And as we've largely established, this map is very empty. So everything else is probably not going to have anything in it. Seven Oaks, that's what it's called. So if there's any source of information, it's just going to be the one landmark. Who can I talk to? Pick your poison. Stop it. Well, this is not a good sign. So far, I can't talk to anybody. No. <laughs> I may need to actually find her lair. Pick your poison. Why would I not be able to ask the barkeep? He's the local barkeep. Have you ever played an RPG before? <laughs> That's like the go-to thing. Ask the bar ask the guy at the bar. Yo, you seen any weird shit around here? Heard about a vampire. Well, shit. There's been reports of a vampire. Oh, my bad. My bad. There's a book icon. There is a book icon. That means I'm supposed to look up local crimes. Whoops. Stop it. There we go. That's my mistake. I missed the icon that denotes this is actually this kind of quest where you have to do the lookup me method. Here, I thought I was making my own conclusions. On what to do next. Spawn for me, secret man. Oh. He didn't show up. Jay Callahan to... Oh, bloodless corpses. Jake Callahan to Captain Lyons. We received today a report about the latest victim of the so-called vampire. Several blood-drained corpses were found in a backyard of the old church road between C. Smith Avenue and Maple Lane in eastern Salvation Harbor. I sent a patrol to inspect the crime scene. Bodies were similar to the previous drained corpses in cover side shells and reed heights. No witnesses have come forward at this time. Usha is, is an undead killer who slays people to drink their blood. We knew that already. Why is that a deduction we had to make? East Salvation Harbor. Old Church Road. Between C. Smith Avenue and Maple Lane. We're on the path. Past mistake rectified. <laughs> it's a good thing there weren't hundreds of people to see me make that goof. Whoops. It's okay, you'll all stay quiet about it, won't you? You wouldn't tell anybody. This... No, it doesn't have the danger marks on it. Wooden barriers just make me nervous. Because I always think we're about to walk, walk in on something. Brick. I keep getting bricks. Bricks are just a thing I get now. Weird. Oh, hi. How do you do? Less effective than I hoped. 
Wow. On one hand, they have a weak spot on the back. Whoa! <laughs> on one hand, they have a weak spot on the back, but on the other hand, it's kind of hard to go Toro, Toro, and have them actually charge past you effectively. Because your character's not very fast. Please get in the right... There we go. Do I have, a, like, a spot on my mouse pad or something? It's like it doesn't want to go in that... Yeah, I'm having control issues. I think it's just that there's so many things on this wheel now that... It's a little hard to get the exact spot down, perhaps. I haven't been using this very much. I'm kind of concerned that it's going to blow through all of my gunpowder at a, a, an astounding rate and make my stores unusable. Because it uses gunpowder also, which is concerning. Because that's the, the everything, like I, that's what everything else uses. Feels like it's just asking for me to start running out of resources. Not a single drop. Yeah, she's suspiciously bloodless, but there's so much blood around. He didn't die immediately. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. Damn. If anyone had caught this shotgun blast, they would have lost their head. But there's also blood there. Inside, old clothes and garbage, but this letter may be helpful. Hotel owner's note. This is my final warning. If you don't pay me for the month due, I'll sell all your belongings and you'll be out in the street. No one may live at the Devil's Reef and avoid payment without consequences. Sounds like we're going back to the Devil's Reef then. Oh, time to piece together the, the actual fight. Hungry warm skin saw you here. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Try this, Jan Cole. Must keep a knife. It's a land from called Dead Sotsa. Kneel and obey, Rayoman. So far for your sacrilege. Order me, priestess, and I will serve. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, she's up there. That's why there was a combat noise afterwards. I thought it was coming from that direction. Raid this, buddy. Hope none of those hungry warm skins. Try this, Jam! Usha attacked three inn's mouthers before a man appeared and tried to shoot her. She called him Raymond and hypnotized him somehow. He called them warm skins. Curious about that. So are we saying that those uh that the inn's mouthers are cold to the touch, basically? Curious about that. That's some... That points to a larger physiological difference than just the cosmetic. If they straight up have... I mean, I guess they can breathe underwater and stuff, too. Raymond's whereabouts. A man named Raymond saw Usha's attack and seems connected to her somehow. 
He dropped a bag at the scene, inside of which was a letter concerning his overdue rent for a room at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Let's get our ass back to Devil's Reef then. 